This is Twit. Microsoft has a ton of different operating systems for embedded and small devices now. And I don't know if you remember, maybe like three, four years ago, they had so many different flavors of Windows 10 for IoT devices. They were all different kinds of variants of Windows 10 for IoT. Now they're down to two, which is Windows 10 IoT Core for really small devices and Windows 10 IoT Enterprise for bigger devices where you want the full manageability of Windows 10 and uh, be able to use it in conjunction with your tool, existing tools and all. So what they're going to do now is bring this down to one. You know, we always talk about how Microsoft has too many solutions for any one problem. In the IoT space, they're actually going to fix this and they're going to have one. The combined um, product is going to be called IoT Enterprise, just like we have now Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. Um, it's going to be out in 2021, so next year. And they're making a lot of changes to it. So they're taking Windows 10 Core, Windows 10 Enterprise, smushing them together, but at the same time, reducing the footprint by 40%. Um, and they're going to enable over-the-air updates for it. It's also going to be able to run Linux workloads in containers um, through Azure IoT Edge on Windows. So there's a whole bunch of different things coming up for this product family in the next year and they're going to be testing it over the next few months. So if you're a customer of IoT Core and IoT Enterprise, you probably want to keep an eye on that. Uh, I had a couple of people ask me, what about Azure RTOS, real-time operating system? Is this going to replace that? No. So they are going to keep Azure RTOS, uh, which is based on this technology they bought um, in 2019 from Express Logic that was called ThreadX, a very well-known real-time operating system. They're going to continue to enhance that and make that available for a class of devices where you want a true real-time operating system, like things on, like things like microcontrollers and really highly constrained devices. That, so that line also will continue. But I'm really happy to see us going down to one Windows 10 IoT product after having had so many of them and trying to keep track of so many of them over the years. Yeah, it's a yeah. good thing. Nice. 